Hello and welcome to the Underground. In this video I will be showing you how to set up your IRFR via a wireless router. To start you'll need to make sure you understand the difference between a wireless router and a wireless access point. A wireless router is a device that routes data between a wireless or wired LAN and another wired LAN. For example, you can have a wireless LAN on 192.168.1.x and a wired LAN on 10.101.50.101 and the data will route between the two quite happily. A wireless access point is a device that bridges wireless traffic directly to a wired LAN. There is only ever one LAN and it's a bit like having a wireless device connected directly to an Ethernet switch. Here is a diagram of how we're going to set up our system. To start with, we have our EOS console. This is going to be directly connected using a Cat5 cable to the WAN interface on our wireless router. Our wireless router will then be connected wirelessly to the iPhone on the LAN side. DHCP will be enabled on both the EOS console and the wireless router so that the WAN interface on the wireless router gets an IP address automatically from the console and our iPhone gets an IP address automatically from the LAN interface on our router. This will make it a lot simpler to set up and the data should route between the two quite happily. Now we need to set a few settings on our console. Go into the shell and then go to the network tab. Make sure that your IP address and subnet mask are set accordingly. Then scroll down slightly and check Wi-Fi remotes. It doesn't matter if you check this on both ports but make sure it's checked on the port that you're connected to. To end, enable the DHCP service and make sure that the IP address and subnet mask are correct here as well. To end, you'll need to reboot your console. Lastly, check that you have allowed remotes enabled in the system settings. Now we need to set up our router. Start by logging into your router's web interface. These details are usually found on the bottom of the router. Then check that the WAN interface is set to a dynamic or DHCP IP address. You can see here our router has got an IP address from the console. Now check that your LAN IP is set correctly or at least leave it at the defaults. Lastly check that the DHCP server is enabled on the router. Now connect your iPhone to the wireless LAN. Check that you're getting an IP address on the right interface, then we're ready to launch the IRFR app. Add a new connection using the plus icon. Might be nice to set a display name so you remember which console you're connecting to. And then enter the IP address of the console that you're connecting to. Remember this is going to be on the 10.101 range at this point. Now you can see that the, the IRFR has connected to our console and we're able to control it. 